Kabupaten Today we are in the olive harvest in the fields of Farka village. We wait all year long for the harvest and all the family participates. To us the harvest is a celebration. Second, it's a celebration because it has a positive impact economically on me and my family. Collecting and selling the olive oil generates enough income to cover our family expenses. When my father died, he left me this land. For five years I've been harvesting and taking care of it. My husband was abroad working for five years in Dubai and came home for only one month, so I did all the work on the land with my two oldest sons, spraying the trees, cleaning the land, pruning the trees. Even when the tractor came to plow, I was on top of the work all the time. Uh, the main goal uh, of the From Groove to Market program uh, is to improve the, the way that the olive oil value chain uh, function in, in a way that um, small-scale producers, uh, especially women, uh, will get uh, more benefit out of that uh, market. Through the Grove to Market program, the Business Women's Forum works with 17 women's cooperatives through the West Bank. We also work with women's groups. Since this program aims at developing and enhancing the small farm sector, our objective is to integrate economically productive projects for women as part of the cooperatives. This will enhance their financial situation as a cooperative and as individual members. And during this intervention, one of the consortium of uh, our partners are the Business Women Forum, who mainly focus on the, the women, uh, women issues and uh, economic empowerment. So we supported the women, mainly uh, cooperatives, building their capacities and the skills, uh, how to produce high quality uh, olive oil and olive oil olive byproducts like olive paste and olive uh, soap. Uh, now they produce the high quality, now they export uh, their product I mean, uh, outside the country and they sell in the local market. Uh, they gain uh, more uh, benefits, more return from the, the subsector. So they, they work on the, the production site and also now they, they benefit from the, the return uh, from their work. <laughs> When it comes to farmers, rehabilitating them, trading and educating them, these are the fundamental factors that lead to success and ensures that those farmers obtain a high quality product. The role of the Olive and Oil Council is to harmonize between the producer and the consumer, and then for specifications and standards of the oil, and to work hard to make sure there is always a product that is acceptable and matches the required specifications. The last 10 years, more than 1 million olive trees have been uprooted by the Israelis, by the occupation. If we talk about 60% uh, of the Area C, which is a new terminology might be for many people, the Area C is the area where controlled by the Israelis. It's Palestinian land where we don't have any access to it. Uh, so uh, this is the unique challenges that we face in Palestine. <music> The olive sector is the largest agriculture sector in Palestine. More than 85% of the planted trees are olive trees. 
100,000 families live off them. That means nearly half a million people benefit directly or indirectly from the olive sector. It is the largest agriculture sector and most important in Palestine. Uh, this is what I meant by the, the dynamic network uh, that from a group to market managed to establish. That includes, for instance, uh, bringing external capacity like Code, Code, Code Institute, who support a lot in terms of, of analyzing uh, the value chain and understanding, uh, understanding the, the, the issues that the sector is, is, is facing. And they, they have a very good international experience in this field. In addition, um, the, the private sector, uh, the private sector who joined us in terms of, of, of supporting small-scale farmers in, in improving the quality and the quantity of the product. Of course, that improvement is uh, an enhancement of production is also needed for the, the private sector. In addition, the cluster approach where uh, the program managed to bring together cooperatives to work uh, jointly under the Federation's umbrella, as well as uh, the related ministry, and on top of, of them is the Ministry of Agriculture. So uh, taking this approach of, uh, in terms of, of, uh, of investing in this sector has helped a lot in, in, in avoiding duplication, enhanced coordination, and thus impact uh, on the sector development. In cooperation with Oxfam, with the other program from the field to the market, we did different kind of, a study, of a studies. Most of the studies shows that the input is too high. When, when the input is too high, this means the price will be too high and later on it is not competitive in the market, even externally or locally. Now we came out with some uh, instruments and some activities which can decrease the cost of the input. this uh, project, how to train the farmers to use the best practices in this uh, sector from the farm to the fork. All the indicators about the quality with the members of the cooperatives which they are dealing through the project which implemented by Bethlehem University and Oxfam and other local uh, organizations. Uh, this oil, all the indicators, when we did the tests in the labs, it's giving good uh, indicators and this will support and help a reef company which is responsible about promoting and marketing olive oil, the Palestinian olive oil, to find better opportunities to sell it in the external markets. During this uh, program, for the first time, we, we brought the small-scale farmers, their cooperatives, and the private sector together, and they sat and talk and discuss and argue, and at the end of the meeting, they set a fair price, fair for both sides, for the producers and the, uh, the private sector as well. Uh, they are happy uh, about the, the program, and they are looking forward to see, uh, I mean, this, the program going forward. The, the main goal of this initiative, how to uh, make kind of network between the companies uh, whom they are uh, specialized in filling and packing and promoting and exporting the Palestinian olive oil. Uh, five big companies, uh, they are now in a new union called the, the, the Palestinian uh, Company Union for, olive, for uh, Olives. And this union now uh, uh, are working very close to each other. The main goal of this union, how to organize the, the Palestinian market and how to improve 
the capacities for these uh, companies and how to make the uh, tension more or less between the relation of these companies. We work uh, with the farmer organization at national level to strengthen their position uh, to be able to represent the farmers' interest on the ground. And I'm here talking about the, uh, the union of uh, agriculture cooperatives in Palestine. Also, I'm talking here about the Palestinian Olive Oil Council who take the internal policy challenges uh, uh, from the ground and present it to the decision makers, to the uh, Minister of Agriculture, Minister of National Economies and other, other related ministers at the, the Palestinian uh, Authority. This program really has managed in, in creating a new uh, philosophy and strategy of dealing with the agriculture sector. Uh, that take into consideration uh, uh, working in a multi-stakeholders environment and, and engaging all actors in decision making and policy and strategy development. And I guess from Groove to Market has succeeded uh, to great extent in terms of, of establishing the right mechanisms for that. In addition, uh, I guess what can be capitalized on is, uh, is the kind of, of pool of investment the Swiss yes. Development Cooperation yes. and the European Union agreed uh, to put for the development on this sector. And thus in the future to avoid donor money fragmentation yes. and to have a kind of pool of resources to invest in, in agriculture sector or in sub-agricultural uh, sectors. The ministry and our colleagues in the Grove to Market program have managed to identify critical problems facing this sector and we've started to solve them step by step. The Grove to Market program benefited us greatly, first in the organic farming they encouraged us to develop. We also benefited from the many trainings and experiments on our land, which developed our knowledge and experience with olive trees. My wish for the future, the same way my father left us the grove and land as wealth for us, is to leave land to my sons and daughters, the same way my father did for us.